I was born and raised in the Bronx, New York. Now I'm an entrepreneur in Washington, D.C. D.C.'s changing fast, technology even faster. So I built Touch AV from the ground up to change the game and bring flavor to the AV lifestyle. Yo, it's your boy Dale. We're about to go see my boy Eric. He tried to mount his own TV, but he has wires every place. So he's not home right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there and help him out and seal those wires. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that. Okay, now we have my boy's Eric's house, and we're gonna surprise him by cleaning up these wires. Of course, he tried to put the plasma up by himself and found that he couldn't conceal the wires. Then he goes out and gets the wire molding, and he says, hey, damn, I'm gonna put the wire molding like this. I'm not gonna even let my boy go out that way. We're gonna show him just how easy it is to conceal these wires behind the wall. So the first thing we did was remove the TV, take it off the mount. And now we're gonna take you through the steps that it takes to conceal those wires. The first thing you wanna do is get you an easy cut. You can purchase one of these at any local hardware store. Uh, and this will allow you to make the templates for the holes that you need to cut. If the mount is already up, nine times out of 10, you, it's gonna be mounted into the stud. So this area right here is gonna be open. So you wanna pick this area. So you wanna make sure that you have a perfect level. And then we're gonna make two single game box cuts. So for a single game box cut, you're gonna just gonna use this area of the easy cut. So you outline it. Now you need to make two of them because one is gonna be for all your source and data wire, your cable wire, your game port, and the second one is gonna be for your electricity. You cannot run electricity with your data wires because you'll get interference. Once you made your templates here, you gotta make two corresponding templates down at the bottom of the wall so where your wires are gonna actually come through behind the walls and come out. So the next thing you wanna do is cut out these holes. You take your standard drywall saw, you go on the template, and you start cutting. Cut! The two things that you're gonna need is an afterwork ring so that you can put in the first hole, and also a grommet for your wires so you can give it a finished look. So now that you got your rings in, we need to drape the wire. Two ways you can drape the wire. Sometimes you get lucky and there's no insulation and you can go directly and just drop the wire. Sometimes you may need something that we call glow rod that you attach the wire to and you go through and um, pull the wires from the bottom. Now that you have your glow rod going from your top hole to your bottom hole, we're gonna tape these two connections to the glow rod. So I take the first one and I stagger it onto the first cable. Then I take the first cable and I tape that to the glow rod. Once you do that, get it started. Take the glow rod from here. Pull it. And now you're wired. The next thing you want to do is you want to pick up a grommet set. And this is going to channel your uh, source wiring. And pretty much it's just a plate and a grommet which you're going to fit all of your wires through. Next you want to get one of these Datacom conduit plates. And this will allow you to receive the wires at the bottom. The next thing we're gonna do is our electricity. But I urge you to get a licensed electrician because you don't wanna do anything that might take you out of code. So we got the electricity installed. We got the HDMI wires concealed behind the wall. The next thing that we're gonna do is connect them to the TVs and also the cable box, and then we're ready to go. We got the TV mounted. 
No wires, everything's looking real clean. I know my boy Eric's gonna love this. Check us out on touchav.com or myavguy.com.